Today I'm building a short retaining wall made out of wood in different sizes. It's actually the landscape, uh, the landscape wood that you would use. Um, I'll show it to you. I did, I completed one side and I'm still working on the other. So I'll show you what I'm doing. So here it is. As you can see, it's in different lengths and I swooped it inward into the bed so that I can plant things on the outside. And I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side. You can see I dug down, not too far. I mean, it's your preference, but I didn't want to. So I dug down, brought it in, and back out to the end of the bed. And I cut wood in different lengths. Um, I can tell you. Let me get my measuring tape and I'll tell you the lengths. See, I'm using a DeWalt chop saw. I'm using four different lengths and you can cut it to whatever length you desire. This one is approximately seven inches, nine inches, 11 inches, and 12 and a half inches. So first, decide on the pattern that you want to go with. You can lay out a hose or a string or whatever you like. And then you just get to digging. I used an auger. It helped to loosen up the dirt better. What you will need, well, you don't need it, but I used the, the auger. You could use the shovel. Um, I got my nail pads and well, I use a hand shovel because sometimes you might want to dig out like on the size extra um, dirt so that it can line up more even. Then you begin to place the wood in. I'm looking for um, what is more pleasing to the eye for me, like knots. Um, and then I try to hide some of the things that I don't like. This is pressure treated wood. I think I said it. it's treated wood. I don't know if it's pressure, probably. <laughs> I'm not familiar with all the technical terms. So, um, so like the dark knots, that's what I'm looking for. Um, and then I just, I pound it so that they stand up and it'll level out the dirt how you want it to. And you could add or subtract dirt to bring it at what level you need it to. I'm not going very deep at all in certain areas. As you can see, like, uh, my it's, this area right here is almost, it's a little over finger length. I didn't bring my measuring tape over. So over here, of course, it's gonna be higher because the, uh, the dirt level is higher on this side than it is on this side but I am also gonna be adding more dirt. So I don't wanna do this where I line it up the same. I don't want it to be easy. So I'm gonna switch things around. And I'll put the tall one over. I like the way that looks. I did it from Lowe's, it's in the back um, behind all the way. Well, at least the one that I go to. It's over by the rocks and the pavers. Um, the thing I like about them also is they have the rounded ends so that you can line them up and t curve them any way you want and it still like holds up against it and holds the dirt as far as I can tell. I've watched other YouTube videos um, to see how people do it. I'm not connecting them in any way especially if I decide I want to move things around and stuff. I don't have to worry about that. So you just put them how you, the different lengths that you like. Switch that up, let's see. I just 
mat it down like that. You could add the extra dirt to put in there if you need to. And, you know, you're basically just lining them up. I'm trying to, you know, just eyeball it. Um, next one, I got to get some more wood. See, like this here. I like those. I love the knotted look. You can kind of, you can go by also um, thinking about what kind of plant you want to put in there and at what level. So you might want to have something here in the middle that's going to spill over. So you want to put a short one there, you know, so it's all up to you. The other thing I'm doing is I want to try to pick my piece that I want at the end and get closer and try to get it as close to the grass as possible to the end and once you find the spot you just line everything up accordingly to that one i'm leaving space in the front and the back to backfill with the dirt Trying to level them off as much as possible. In this area is where I start to turn them a little bit because it's going to start curving. So I want that, uh, you know, I'm eyeballing to see how to bring it. So. So this, um, let me see. See if you can see what I mean. Back up. So this is about the center here, those two. So they're kind of like, uh, the front part is more straight. And then the, the rest on this side will curve that way. And then the opposite on that side, it'll curve that way.
Now I'm standing back, I'm looking at it, and I think I want to replace this one to somewhere over here. Or maybe even put it there and just bring another, maybe one of these in. Let me see. You could even switch them out. I think I like that better. Let's switch this one. No. Notice how I curved and the ends are touching and it's round, rounded, so they're meeting together. But this here, I might have to make it a little more snug. A lot of times when it's not meeting up to the grass line when you stand it straight, it's because there's some dirt sticking out. I'm not sure if you can see this, but let's see. So that's where I would go in with the shovel and just take some off. To make it straight just go up and down and just lay that out Once I get all of the wood lined up how I want it to be, then I go through straightening them up and tapping it down with the rubber mallet. looking so far I 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and then I'll show you when I get to the end how I end it off and then I'll fill it in. Okay. As you can see, they're starting to push together to form a tighter fit. And in this area, I'm not leaving space in the front, of course, to backfill. It's just in the back area. I meant to say that in the, when I talked about it in the beginning. Right now, time to backfill. And that's just as easy as I'm not doing any rocks. Oh, actually, I do want to start doing this lightly. I don't want to press because then it's going to move the wood so you just want to go through and just push the dirt up against it first then start to pack when you get it on both sides oh, so i'm talking a little shaky it's because i'm bent over okay I do have bags of dirt that I'm going to be putting in this bed also. I kept going back and forth um, if I wanted to do this or not. And sometimes I feel like I create extra work for myself but when I when I was going back and forth about it I actually gave in and went and spent money for this one here at Lowe's and it only goes from where well, you see look at this from there to here wait here I think that's it and there were, they were 15 bucks a piece. And I think I got three of them to put in here, if I'm not mistaken. And then, I don't know if you can see over there, you probably can't. But I actually tried to staple them together. I missed this one. That's why it's not connected. Then I was like, you know what? Let me just YouTube it. 
again and make up my mind so i did and now i'm happy that i did it so where you see there's no wood here or here that is uh left open i want i left it open on purpose because i want to fill it in with um i think they're called river stones or something i can't remember they're big rocks or the, i don't know the size yet but someone's gonna gift it to me so i have to go check it out as for now this is how it's looking okay so that's how you do this wall i would add the extra dirt and all of that stuff now but this bed isn't done yet i still want to uh, i have to move the mulch out the way fill with dirt put other plants in and then mulch it thanks for tuning in please don't forget to hit that notification bell and like comment and subscribe consider subscribing if you like what you see you know and you want to see more it'd be nice for you to join and uh you know i'll just keep you up to date with what's going on around here that's it for now bye